Hello family, today is August the 23rd, 2017. Today is Wednesday and I have come on to make loaded potatoes. So to make this particular dish, family, you are going to need some bacon. I have some unsalted uh, pure butter. I have some marble cheddar, some garlic and herb seasoning blend, black pepper, garlic powder, a little lorries, some chopped onions, reduced fat sour cream, and some um, chives and onion cream cheese. And I've also took the liberty on peeling the potatoes already. Let's get started. Hopefully, though I like to cut my bacon at least in half, but for this, I'm going to cut it a couple of times, like so. You always want to start your bacon off in a cool skillet. Um, cooking your bacon in a cool, in a cool skillet, say that um, like three times really fast. <laughs> okay, so to cook your bacon, you want to start it in a cool skillet. And that way, it will keep your bacon from burning up and burning the edges of it really bad. So start your bacon off in a really cool skillet first. I have um, cut up about a good, maybe a good two pounds of potatoes. Now you can also um, use red potatoes, which would probably be really, really good because I like red potatoes. Um, but I just bought the regular russet potatoes, a 10 pound bag for uh, $2.49 at uh, Food for Less. That is my uh, local store here, and I happen to like it. And uh, so we're just doing it that way. Get some fresh water. You want to put a little salt inside of your potato. Why am I putting a lid on it? Because it makes it boil faster. As you can see, this over here is beginning to boil. But anytime it begins to do that and you don't want it to boil out, then therefore you can take a wooden spoon like this and lay it across here. And then put your lid on and it won't boil over. Ever. Dig that. Our bacon is cooking very well. Let's tilt it down a little bit so you guys can see. It's not burned or anything. It's nice and crispy. Our potatoes, let me pan up just a little so you guys can see. Once you put that in there, it won't overboil at all. So, you see that? It won't overboil. I don't know what that, why, why it does that. It just does. Hmm, interesting, right? We're going to take out um, maybe about half. That's about good enough for our potatoes. And then we're going to use the rest of this. And it's pot liquor. What's pot liquor, Auntie? What's pot liquor? Pot liquor is your grease and your juices from whatever it is that you're cooking. So we're going to make a little pot liquor for our string beans. Okay, we're just going to break this up and cut this up just a little bit cut it up kind of fine um we're putting it in the kitchen aid anyway so it is going to um, break up anyway with the motion of the uh blade um as it also breaks up our potatoes but you just kind of want to break this up just a little little bit so that it won't be big, big, big pieces in your potatoes. Okay. Now we're going to pour those in there. Let's get our potatoes ready. Okay, we're going to start off with our um, chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese. 
And what's best is to use a rubber spatula. But we're going to do one of these numbers and make sure we get all of this. Like that. Are we using the whole thing? Yep, we're using the whole thing. Okay. Now, we're going to use unsalted butter. Auntie, what's the difference between salted and unsalted butter? Well, unsalted butter is primarily used for your pastries and such. And, um... So that's what I usually use it for. I use unsalted for my pastries. So we're going to take, let's say about a, almost a half, a stick of unsalted real butter. Yum, yum. Okay, and we're going to add some garlic and herb zesty seasoning. I'm just going to twist the cap off like that and do it like this we're also going to put our cheeses I had some already in the refrigerator that had a little bit in it so that might give us what we need um, again add to your own taste me and my kids are um, cheese eaters so I don't skimp on cheese but um, we gotta add it Okay, so we're going to put some black pepper. Okay. Uh, just a little bit more garlic powder. Though we had it in our chives, but we're just putting just a tiny bit. And it was also some in our um, herb seasoning as well. And we're going to hit it with a little lawrence. Now, usually you would taste it first um, before you do that. But however, I didn't need to. So, and then also I'm going to put some milk. I buy 2% fat milk for my house. Um, that is uh, the milk that I usually buy. Okay, so let's get it stirred up. Now you want to taste this and see what you need and what you don't need. Oh my God. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, yum, yum. Now, I'm going to put just a tad bit of sour cream in here. Just a little bit. And we're going to add a little bit more seasoning to it. So, we're going to add just a little bit of cream, sour cream, excuse me. Just a little bit of sour cream, simply for taste. We're going to add some minced onions just a little and we're going to put just a little bit more lorries in here okay Oh my God, it's so bomb. Mm. Mm. I'm going to add just a little bit more cheese. Because that's how we like it in my house. Pow, right there. We're going to stir this up one more time and that's going to be it. That's it.
Anthony has already um, made his food for work already. So, actually, this is mine. I just want a little bit of potatoes and a piece of meat. No string beans for me. Oh, that's a good looking one right there. From my home to yours. I thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a pleasant evening. I love you. Bye-bye for now.